Sagittarius, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name is Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Thursday, December 17th. Of note in the skies, we have Saturn moving into Aquarius today. So this is going to be a pretty big shift energetically that is going to really roll out over the next couple of years. But the there'll be a distinct... Um, shift in how uh, the possibility of bringing new ideas, um, implementing new ideas, bringing, bringing them into the realm of the real from the realm of the possible is going to start really taking shape over the next couple years starting today. Let's see what's going on with my Sagis. We have the Three of Swords front and center. So you're, someone has just hurt your feelings or you have just hurt someone else's feelings. Let's see the challenge here. It's because someone is focused on their own happiness to the exclusion of someone else's happiness. Um, let's see what you're focused on. The moon, the sun and the moon. I mean, we just had an eclipse, so this this feels like it might be talking about timing here, um, as well as the, the other meanings of the cards. With the moon, you're wanting to really dive deep. So, okay. I want to say that for most of you, you're the one who is pursuing your own happiness and inadvertently hurt someone else's feelings in the process because that's really launched you into some soul searching. Um, you want to better understand this. You want to, um, but it, you want to educate yourself about it, but it, it feels like you're doing that by going within. Let's see what led up to this. What happened in the recent past for my Sagittarians? What got them to this point? We have the Seven of Swords and the Six of Cups. Yep, okay. There's been a revelation that someone kept secret I don't think out of any like ill will or it's just it's something that they it's been private. There hasn't been really a reason to share this, but there's there's something from someone's past that I think you kind of stepped on. You 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 stepped on an invisible landmine because of of something that happened in this person's past that has hurt them you kind of reactivated or triggered an old pain of theirs. And so they're, they've re recently revealed that situation to you and explained this, um, something from their childhood. They've explained a past hurt from their childhood to you. And so you're really, um, you're wanting to connect with that from a deep level from your inner self. This person feels very important to you, so you're wanting to really engage with what they're sharing with you. Let's see the energy of the environment around you. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. This is someone pouring their heart out, but being vulnerable. Um, so it's not in like a, I'm sharing how I feel about you, let me profess my love for you, which to me would be like more the, the Knight or the King of Cups. Um, is that outward directed energy. The queen to me is revealing vulnerable feelings, which is just, you know, continuing the story that we've been talking about. In the near future, we have forward momentum with the chariot. You're going to be able to capitalize on the energies that are exposed here, and it will propel you forward with a newfound sense of purpose and um, like dialing in your own unique journey here, putting your stamp on things like you and your person or you and everyone else who's involved here. Um, 
really driving the narrative forward, but more purposefully. Not This isn't like flying on autopilot, just going through the motions of life. This is very much like, all right, I have a newfound sense of purpose and I want to take the reins and really run with it now. Something is going to come in and influence the situation that you're not expecting, the Ten of Swords. So there's going to be a major paradigm shift here. Um, I feel like what's likely, based on the story we've been talking about, is this person expressing these feelings, you doing the soul searching to connect with those feelings, the person being vulnerable, and you really engaging with that vulnerability in a safe and, and constructive way is going to shift whatever made you do this, whatever made you accidentally hurt their feelings, that's going to be done, done, done. Like you're so done with that. I feel like most of you are going to be done with it in the way of like, I'm never going to hurt you in that way again. Others of you are going to be so done with it, like, I can't believe you're trifling, this is, this doesn't make any sense, and I'm done with this relationship. I think that's only for, uh, for very few of you, because this all feels very healthy and very, like, you are, you're engaged, you're not hiding from this, you're, you're, you're digging the, the depths. Let's take a look at your hopes and fears. What are my Sagittarians hopeful for? What are they concerned about? We have the Two of Swords and the Eight of Wands also wanted to pop out. So you feel pressured to make a decision here. There's this momentum behind you. You're like, okay, if we're zooming forward, we're changing the game now. Um, can I keep up? How am I going to navigate with all of this, all of this um, swiftness, all of this change happening? It feels like a concern more so than a fear per se. I think because we, we have both cards in the upright, I think you're looking at it head on. You're just wanting to take care with the decision that you make. Yeah. The end result is the high priestess in reverse. So we have you really connecting with your higher self and integrating more of your purpose, trusting spirit more, but in a very private, very unique to you way. Like this isn't you like going to a big breathwork class or a yoga retreat. This is you like on your own, having a very spiritual experience in order to, um, in order to listen, in order to listen to spirit and get the guidance, the intuitive hits, the intuition, the, I just want to say guidance. I feel like you are, you're looking within and like within here and within here, like the the big you, you're really asking for help there and it's going to come through. You're going to start to get a better sense of what's right here for like the, the big right. Not just the little me, what's right right now, but like the overarching, what's capital right for this. Let's get you some advice. What's the advice for my Saggies to best make use of these energies? Don't give up. We have the Nine of Wands here. You're so close to a major milestone here. Don't give up. Like, uh, Spirit recognizes that this is a challenge, that you're really applying yourself, and your diligence and your commitment here will not go unrewarded. You're seen there. And the, the opportunity that's on offer here in order to get a better picture for how to interact in a, 
in a supportive way with this individual is worth everything you have to go through. All right. Thank you, Sagittarius, for watching. I hope this helped. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.